say it doesn't have its issues building your own hydrogen powered car. I'm not expecting the engine to last very long as in the piston rings and the cylinder walls because hydrogen gases are non-lubricating fuel. So petrol and diesel, they all lubricate the cylinder walls, but with hydrogen, it's a gas and it's a non-lubricating gas, a little bit like LPG. You will burn through piston rings eventually and your cylinder walls. So that's not great. I'm not sure how long this engine will last, but it's lasted, uh, well, it's lasted a good six months up until now, on and off, switching the engine on and off, trying different things, leaving it at idle over extended periods of time, and it's still it's still pulling strong. The biggest issue is the amount of gas consumption this thing uses. From the bottle to the engine, you're consuming around 74 litres of hydrogen gas, which is insane. 74 litres of gas is travelling from the boot to the front of the car. Somewhere in the future, a more advanced 
advanced version of this, which no doubt is being created now as we speak by big car manufacturers, will be created for people like us to enjoy hydrogen combustion engines. We enjoy hydrogen combustion engines because of their instant power and the noise they make. The engine feels alive at the end of the day. And you don't, you don't get that with hydrogen fuel cell. You don't get that with electric cars. I know as long as we have spark and we have compression that I can go forward. It's easy to fix if you're mechanically minded. And you become attuned, you become, you become part of the car when you drive it. You really do feel like you're driving something that's alive. And that's what, that's what combustion engines are all about these days because people can have electric, people can have hydrogen fuel cell if you're fortunate enough to live in Canada or anywhere else, uh, California or anywhere else that has hydrogen fuel cell, fuel cell stations but uh, here in the UK we, we don't have many at all so hydrogen fuel cell at the moment is not viable. It'll be electric, well that's it really. So at the moment that is, but in, in no doubt in the future hydrogen fuel cell uh, fueling stations will become more abundant and I'll be able to get a hydrogen fuel cell car but I still don't have the hydrogen combustion engine that I love so this is the answer for a quick weekend drive in this case, too quick I only get 10-15 minutes of run time, it's pathetic, it's rubbish but I made it myself and that's something I can be proud of Electric hybrid might work when you're 
you're driving below 20 miles an hour the electric turns on and when you drive over 20 miles an hour the petrol or diesel switches on maybe that's what we need for hydrogen as sort of a middle ground until electric cars become more viable or hydrogen combustion or hydrogen fuel cell becomes more common Until then, or until next time, cheerio.